What up, what up, what up, what up? You know who it is. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. It's Mr. Lines coming to you live and direct on this fabulous Friday, January the 22nd, 2020. Mas uno. See, see, see. Yes, yes, yes. Say it with our chest. We are in here like the Atmos Fab. So you know what we gonna do, dog? We gonna G A T. Hey, and get after these academics. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only is the day a fabulous Friday, January the 22nd, today is day number 89 of a calendar school year. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, we chug chugging along. That means we are halfway done. Yes, halfway done. All right, but that being said, our weather today outside is going to be a high of 57 degrees. It's going to be sunny outside. It's going to be clear outside. Ooh, it's going to be a nice day outside, but who cares? Because we're going to be what, inside getting this education in on this excellent Friday. Now, our quote of the day comes from Abraham Lincoln. Yes, you know Abraham Lincoln, one of the presidents, baby. Hey, what does Abe say? Abraham Lincoln says the best way to predict your future is to create it. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Take control of your education, take control of your life, and do what you know is right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so you know how we feel here at Carter Community Charter School. I matter, you matter, we matter. You know what our motto is, college education begins in kindergarten. You know what our mission is. Our mission is to prepare children for college and other productive lifelong learning experiences beginning right there in kindergarten. That's what we do. That's what we do better than everybody else in Durham, North Carolina, and the whole wide world, Craig. That's what we do, baby. We pour it into you, and we want to get it out. All right, now, it was easy. Everybody be able to do it, but it just takes a little effort. Take a little effort. Let's, let's get it. Let's put that effort into it. All right. Um, next up, school news. School news. School news. What's going on in school, Mr. Lines? Well, as we know, today marks the end of the second quarter, a.k.a. the first semester. It's gone. All right. Report cards will go live next Friday. So, if you don't know, now you know. Been telling you a long time. All right. So, if you got anything, any grades. Yeah, you need to get in there. All right, and for my students who are still don't know how to get into their power school, you need to go to NC Cloud. You need to type in your student ID and the school password. Uh, right now, ask your teachers, but it should be Carter, capital Carter, with the star and 2020 or 2019. All right, so you can go into power school yourself and check your grades. All right, and if your parents still need to log in for power school, uh, get with your homeroom teacher, and they will send them an email with instructions on how to set that up. Outside of that, classroom updates. All right, what's going on in the classroom, Miss Lyons? Well, in the classroom, first up, Miss Beatty, this Friday, y'all will complete all our assignments on Seesaw, ISL, and Epic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she wants you to enjoy your weekend. Me too. All right, next up, we got Mrs. Williams. This Friday, y'all doing supplemental ISL review. That's what I'm talking about. And then Miss Cosa said this Friday, we will have a morning meeting. Yes, we're going to have a morning meeting. And the students who have independent work on Seesaw. All right, this is also a great time to finish any missing or incomplete work. First graders. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and then Mr. Country in the second grade said, hey, this Friday, we're working on our control vowels on ISL practice. How are we going to review some sight words for the week? Yep, yep, yep. Appreciate you, Miss Carrington. You're getting it in. Alright, and then Miss Green in third grade. Friday is the science day. Oh, we're going to number science day. Y'all doing a little small little math groups, but get that science in. Alright, then y'all do some little reading groups too, alright? But, hey, y'all going to finish up on the unit on matter. Mm-hmm. Matter, matter, matter. Alright, next up, I got Mrs. Jones in the third grade. So, hey, y'all still working on them synonyms? Same sound, same words. Anonyms, opposite. Yep, yep, yep. Then y'all wear some commas and series. All right, then y'all doing sets some skills on Moby Max. Yes, yes, yes. I want to know how y'all did on that vocabulary quiz yesterday. Let me know, let me know. All right, then Mrs. Archer in the fourth grade, still working on those poems this week, working on poetry. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what you're doing in math, but it got to be something with mathematics and science. Maybe Miss Bell let me know next week. All right. Then uh, Mr. Lines in the fourth grade. You know what we're doing today. We're taking our quiz on multiplying fraction and our quiz on the water cycle. And we're finishing up all our missing work. Because you know you can go in there and look at the report cards and see. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Touch your letters. We'll be ready. All right. Then Mrs. Bradby said this Friday in social studies, you're working on current events, and y'all can update. Uh, uh, then y'all work on some language arts. Then y'all can continue to explore the EAL protocols and learn what ethics mean. All about ethics. All right? Then middle school. All right, we'll be going down. Mr. Michael. Mr. Ship. Miss Blake. And Miss Bass. Hey, boop, 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 making it happen. All right? So... 
this is Friday, so we got to get it in. We got to get in, report to class. All right, for sixth grade math, students will be uh, finding area and volume, ELA. Y'all continue your office purpose and looking over uh, the package called TV Tech. All right, all right. Then, hey, you got a short quiz today on Friday. So don't act like you don't know. And so studies, uh, y'all going to examine the development of language, arts, and writing ancient civilizations. And y'all going to match some writings and language uh, with appropriate relief region and cultures. Then in seventh grade math, y'all will be uh, comparing positive and negative integers, and y'all working on absolute value. Then in so uh, social studies, students will continue presenting their historic explorer presentations. Yep, yep, yep. And then eighth grade math, students uh, will be testing on unit four and begin to look at the qualifications as a function. All right, that's pretty good. Then in social studies. <laughs> Y'all working on eighth grade, uh, students discuss the economic, social, and political differences between the northern and southern states and colonies. All right, hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know who I am. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. All right, Mr. Lines, I want everybody to attack your day and your academics with relentless tenacity and bend your will towards greatness. One falcon, one family, one flight, and I'm gone. Real.